Do you know who she is? We all knew Ginny. She grew up here. Is there someone around to take care of her? See that she's buried proper? You kill her? She ambushed me from the rocks. I didn't know it was a girl. If she was in the rocks, how'd you get them scratches on your cheeks? Frank will come to bury Ginny. Most likely, you'll be buried up on a hill alongside her. We'll take care of Ginny till Frank gets here. Miss Frank. Would that be Frank Turner? That's right. You a bounty hunter? No. Two dollars in advance, in case you ain't around in the morning. It's room number three, right at the top of the stairs. You won't be bothered with noise and such, seeing as how you're the only guest we got right now. Thank you. Well, I guess you know what you're doing, mister. But if I was you, I'd hightail it out of this town quicker than a coot. Accommodations ain't that good. You believe what I said out there? I don't know why else you'd bring Jenny back. Why was she shooting at you, mister? I've been after her husband for a long time. Guess she heard. Do you know him? Yeah. What kind of a man is he? Good man. I take the trouble, mister, but I brought your towel in case you want to wash up. Thanks. You serve supper? Not here. There's food in the saloon across the street. I'll be careful, old bear finds you. Will Reagan and Billy Such might want to hold you up the light. See what you're made of inside.
Who do you think he is, Billy? i never seen him before. I wonder what he come here for in the first place. It don't make a whole lot of difference. Handles himself like he ain't afraid. A lot of them ain't, till the time comes. Yeah. He'll be a dead man when Frank gets here. By the looks of his face, Jenny got her claws in him good for he done it. You gotta see he gets something special. tried to stop you. That's my guess. And you're not a bounty hunter? No. Are you Kim? No. Well, I just love him. I place you now, you're taped, when I'm as good as two. Now, what Frank done was a long time ago, there was a war, remember? Well, maybe you don't know how it was in the war, gunfighter, but a man ain't always himself. Take Frank now, for instance. He's well placed in this town. He's a good man. You're not going to take him back. I suppose you come for supper. What would you like? Some lean beef, vegetables. Coffee later. Is that all? That's all. I didn't ask for dishwater. That's all the supper we got. Take it away. If you don't like the food we serve here, try someplace else. Right, proud woman. I glitch her crawl to have someone turn his nose up at her fixings. Now, why don't you make her feel good? Go on, eat your supper. Done that. We all were saving you for Frank. But I ain't gonna kill. I'm just gonna break your good arm. <laughs> I'm going to say it once more. The woman left me no choice. I had to kill her. Do any of you really know what I want Frank for? Or why that girl tried to stop me? We don't much care, mister. You can't live in the same town with a man. Work alongside him up there in that sweat box of a mine without knowing what he's made of. Leave him alone, bounty hunter. There's enough of us to kill you. Tate, down in Texas once, Frank Turner saved my life. I pay my debts. been beaten 47 straight. It doesn't say much for your opponent. Where can I find the town minister? You going back out there? I'd like to see the minister. Where can I find him? Well, Reverend Hart will still be over in the church, more than likely. 
He likes to keep it nice. You a praying man? I guess we all are in our way. You feel the need of a preacher before you meet up with Frank. I like to see that the girl gets a proper burying. Uh, mister, don't say nothing about me giving you supper. Even though it wasn't much to speak of, I still got to live in this town. No, I won't say anything. Thank you. Be back soon. Did you hurt your arm? Yes. How? In the war. Whatever be better? Well, I met a doctor once who said it might be. You pray. It will be. My name's Melanie. What's yours? Tate. Only Tate? Only Tate. You play a right nice hymn. I've been practicing. Would you finish it for me? I get to this part. Well, let's see. It used to go like this. Well, it's been a long time, Melanie. I think I don't now, Tate. I done it. I did it. I mean, I did it. Didn't I? You're a quick learner. Quick as a whippersnapper. That's what Pa always says. He'll be back in a few minutes. He let me practice while he talked to Reverend Harker. They acted like it was a terrible big secret. They didn't want me to hear. It was something about my sister, Jenny. Your sister? Jenny. You know her? No. I never did. Goodbye, Tate. Goodbye, Melanie. Frank's come. He's at the hotel. Thanks. You don't owe me that. Comes with the price of the room. Gunfighter. Why? Because he saved your life once in Texas? Maybe not. Maybe not only in Texas. 
Just say Frank lost his stomach for it at Shiloh and Tatum Gettysburg. And Kansas with Quant. And Kansas fighting for his flag. Why you, Reagan? What am I supposed to do? Just let you shoot him like a dog? You go away, gunfighter. Go away, it may save you dying. You're a little over the water for that. He was a soldier. A war ain't pretty, mister, but he didn't start it, he didn't ask for it. Frank don't hold with gunplay, not since the war. Makes him all sick inside. That's how come Ginny tried to stop you and he didn't. But the people in that town out there don't know about that and they're not going to find it out. He had his orders, is that it? He did what he had to. Now, why do you keep leaning, gunfighter? What a man does in the war, does it have to follow him all the days of his life? And there has to be human decency, even in war. He had his orders. Orders to set fire to a man's house? To burn his wife and child alive in their beds? Is that what he had to do? How many men have you killed, gunfighter? Did you only do what you had to? What makes you a preacher? You have God's ear. They talk to you. Did he tell you to come here and take revenge on Frank Turner? It's been six years. There's a burned rag doll in my room. It belonged to the little girl who died in that fire while Frank Turner watched. The man who's paying me is a girl's father. Paralyzed the past six years from a bullet in the spine. Well, he laid in the ground and watched Reagan. I watched it too, gunfighter. Frank rode with me in the Raiders. So that man who's paying you should be paying you to bring me in as well. Because I was with him when he'd done it. All right. Now I know. Well, I don't want you, killer. You dream on it. Me, gunfighter! Gunfighter! Somebody inside wants to see you.
didn't mean to kill Jenny. Did you, Tate? No, Melanie, I didn't. I didn't think he'd done it. I mean, did it on purpose. Goodbye, Tate. Goodbye, Melanie. Carmela's easier. You're pretty. My father's waiting for me. I wish to go. Are you made of glass? Huh? You smile at a man when your face breaks. Huh? Huh? Peek! A friend! Any questions? 
questions? when you kill Clay Barton. I don't hire out to kill. What if my name is Smith instead of Ariaga? No difference. I don't believe you. Keep the money I have already paid you for your trouble. I make a mistake in hiring a gringo. I will pay for it. Clay Barton will be turned over to the law. I do no more for any man who hired me. Yes. I take him to the marshal. He knows his own kind. Together they can laugh over what was done to Manuel Ariaga's daughter. You will laugh too. This is a joke. Throw to joy! You're so full of hate you can't see beyond it. All men aren't alike. You know where the bomb is. In the morning, get off my ranch. I pay what I owe to any man. Tomorrow, I wind up my debt to you. Gunfire. Get out of town. Why? I'm not a Mexican. Ariaga. He talks up a storm, then gets deaf listening to himself. Sometimes a man can find what he's looking for when it's not even there. He tells a different story. So a hundred years ago, some fool pushed him around. I'm not interested in his story. Nor in yours. Gunfighters ain't wanted in this town. Is there a law? I could get one passed. First, there's another law once looking after. The one to take care of what happened to the Ariaga girl. Clay Barton should have got his ears while back. No one's excusing what he done. But supposing I was to pull him in, hold him for trial. The jury'd be six close friends of his. And that goes for any six men hereabouts, including me. I'm hereabouts. A gunfighter. You don't try anything in my town. Not in your town. I'm taking him to the county seat. Let the U.S. Marshal call a jury. They won't be friends. care of our own. You think we can't stop you? Six of you ought to be able to kill me. Keeping Clay Barton means enough. Saving John Barton hurt means enough for every man in this town. I'm not looking at men. 
and looking at a mob. Mostly with mobs, the reason is found to back down. It could be different. We'll see. Try to stop me. Two of you, maybe three, will be dead. You first. That was a rotten thing my boy Clay did. I beat him good. First time since he was a boy. Ariaga, he wouldn't listen. A hard man to talk to. Can I talk to you? Now listen. Clay got liquored up. But it's not like a killing. Tomorrow, next month, next year, the Ariaga girl will marry, have babies, live a life. Should Clay die? No, not by my gun. Not if he'll give up to the U.S. Marshal. Why? What will you prove? That one hand can draw as fast as two? Well, it's about the only thing a one-armed man can do as well. My boy will fight. I with him. Others, too. Maybe a dozen. And you, all along. They'll be killing. What are your chances of staying alive? Tate! You're not a reformer. You don't hate Clay. I've been paid money. If I go now, I'll never be sure. My business being afraid is like every day. Find an excuse to walk one time, you'll find a hundred a second. One thing more. Maybe bigger. If I walk, will I ever know the real reason? Ariaga is a Mexican. Is that why I'm tempted? The idea is a dirty taste. But men have eaten dirt and called it bread and meat. My boy won't be taken to answer questions for you. Thank you, Wolf. In my time, my way. You won't have long to wait. Are you prepared to meet your maker? Have you been saved? Get up. Well, thank you, brother. It's later than you believe. This life is fleeting. Remember that. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you, brothers. Thank you. A God-fearing community. You will face the Almighty with confidence. 
Leave me here alone. You're my son. He's pulling a bluff. He won't show. Ariaga, it was his fault. If he hadn't come at me with that stick. That was yesterday. Today is the gunman. Hey. Clay. There's a funny thing out here I want you to see. Every stable fast. Guaranteed at the gunfighter, not Clay? Gunfighter's got my boy. Tate, it's the marshal. Open up. Tell him to leave Clay and no one will bother him. There's a dozen guns covering this door. No other way out. Don't be a fool. Let Clay go, you're right out free. Get her over straight up. Shut up. There'll be no more talk like that. Tate, we'll wait you out or burn you out if need be. Open up. And nobody will bother you. Don't shoot! I think it would probably go on this trigger. At least I think so. Anybody want to find out for sure? Let him through. Hear me, Tate. Two days drive you got to the county seat. You think you can hold that gun steady for 48 hours? I'll be following, waiting, ready. Move. See. Your father's too close for me to waste time arguing. You'll turn me over to Ariaga. Just why not shoot me here? You afraid of Ariaga or his daughter? Now you take that road. Move! your money. Shoot and I'll blow your head off. Twice what I promise I will pay. He goes to the U.S. Marshal. Try to stand in my way, I'll give him back to Barton. He's up there on the road. To buy off! I need two saddle horses and a place to hide till dark. The barn will do. No. 
A wild animal like him stays on my land only if he is dead. Clay, if he feels that way, you're free to go. No. All right. The horse is the man, whatever you want. But if I find you lie. <laughs> And it's a team. I prayed you would die. I'm sorry. Then I prayed I would die. Prayers are not answered. Prayers are meant for life. And do I see you again someday, walking free? I thought I'd run. No. Even in you somewhere there must be shame, hurt. Each time we meet, I'll wait for it. Look for it. And watch it grow. I'm glad you didn't kill him. Time will help her. I hope it does the same for you. to root around. Eh? Stay back. No sense you taking a stray bullet. My father's like you. He won't stop. You, the Ariagas, them, how many dead when it's all over? Something else for me to have to live with that'll grow. Plan hate, you get a full crop. Ted! I want to talk to you. Tate, will you trust me? Barton, we're coming out. Finally smartened up. No. This is my idea. I'm going with him to the U.S. Marshal. You won't rot in jail, not while I'm alive. Barton. The boy's grown up. He can't live his life, pay his debts. You gonna stop me? It's got to be this way. But you will not let him go free, not while I am alive. Hey, what do I got? A man! Don't do it! Everybody's always sorry. Now I'll 
I'll say it. I'm sorry. Uh, for a small contribution, I'd be uh, happy to speed him on his way with appropriate words. Go ahead. Thank you, brother. I speak for the soul of Manuel Ayaga. Thank you, brother. We ask that he may be judged fairly, but kindly. For the good that he did on earth, may he be given credit, and for the evil, forgiveness. Amen. Uh, that's the one dollar service. I got more words that go with the deluxe. It only costs another 50 cents. No, thanks. His own last words will serve. Manuel Oriaga, a man. No more to be done. Except for me. Long ride and a longer stopover. 